everyone welcome back to India at 100 growing responsibly and safely season 2 I'm your host Amarjit Kaur head communications and brand Tata projects today's episode dwells into the crucial aspect of construction which is safety at metro sites today I am at the Chennai metro line TU1 project site this project site is going to construct approximately 9 kilometers of the twin boat tunnels from Venu Gopal Naga station to Kelly station and also the constructions of four metro stations and the site is using the latest technology and equipments to ensure higher standards of safety accuracy and project delivery in the most sustainable way the guests joining me today for this episode are Mr. K. Ramesh, Project Director, Tata Projects Limited, Mr. Janardhanam, Chief Safety Expert and General Consultant, and Mr. S. Shalan Anand, Chief Safety in Charge from Chennai Metro Rail Limited. Welcome, sir. Welcome yes, to this thank episode. You. The team here has bagged many awards and accolades like the Platinum Category Occupational Safety and Health Excellence Award, the Silver Award in the Excellence in Innovation Category, Construction Safety Category, Green Tech International EHS Award. The Gold Award for the Environmental Excellence from Apex India, Green Leaf Awards and the Gold Award in the 13th Exceed Occupation Health and Safety Excellence Awards. Congratulations to the team. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. So Mr. Anand, my first question is going to be to you. So yes. when it comes to uh, underground projects, definitely planning and precision of that project is so important. I would like to know from your end, what are the challenges what you encounter? when this project started and how did you face them? How, what was your approach towards this kind of safety measures? As an employer, the Chennai Metro Rail Limited had binded their contract condition with a wide range of discussions with the experts, comparing with other metros, their accident frequency rates, what are the developments, what are the initiatives that have been taken for the upliftment. Okay. When we compare to other metros, we have a large volume of uh, conditions of contract pertaining to safety. Every ever contractual document is binded with local, national, international standards and laws actually. Hmm. So that, uh, I will give you some few examples, how would it to be like that. Uh, whereas in Chennai Metro Limited, the first generation hydra is totally banned. Actually, as per the Tamil Nadu building and other construction workers regulation 2006, hmm. whereas there is a heavy machinery where you are using in the site, Hmm. Should we have a third party, should be done by a competent person once in a year. That is by the legal legislation, by the Tamil Nadu Building and Workers Regulation. Whereas, to that more extent, we had made that the third party should be examined by a competent person six months in a year. So, we are doing two times in a year to make it more effectively. Tata is having a inherent persistence like that. Uh, safety is 100 percent achievable but when it is reasonably practicable. Yes, great. That's nice and uh, really when it comes to safety on metro sites and everything, it has to be of utmost importance. It yes. has to be taken yes. care of well. So on this, Mr. Ramesh, I would like to ask you, as Tata Projects, as he spoke about the things about the company, what is the company's approach towards safety and what are your team's expertise? Tata Projects here, not only for completion of, completion of the project, is the responsibility to take care of each and every workers should be worked on the safe manner in this manner. For that, we have implemented some the PTW system means the no, no PTW, no work. The PTW, PTW means the permit to work. Okay. So, we implemented each and every activity should cover in the PTW. Okay. Without PTW, you cannot start the work. And this will be monitored by the our senior management. Okay. And also we have engaged the safety managers in the all the level, senior, juniors, and we all the level we have a CSM like that. So they will monitor whether the work is going as per the standard method or not, or any deviation is there. And people who has worked involved on the site, the people having a rights to stop the work if the person is not following the work, okay. following the rules and regulations. Okay. This type of culture we have implemented the, our site. Secondly, I want to say, being Tata Pujas, we are always use the advanced technology of the equipments. Uh -huh. Okay, it means you can say the all the safety buzzers, safety pitches <coughs> has been inbuilt in the equipment before selection of the equipment. We are focusing the given the importance to the only for the first preference is the safety, and we are using the always advanced technology of the TBMs. Because TBM is the one of the very 
critical equipment in the construction industry in the underground projects. So we are using the advanced technology of the TBMs. We will inspect all the equipment health and then there only we have a proper checklist. We will give the ticks, okay, this is okay, this is not okay. So overall, what is the performance? What is the condition of the equipment? Based on this, we are selecting the, we are giving the green tag. Okay. If the equipment is not in the condition, we are putting on the red tag. In that case, you cannot operate this machine. So okay. we are implemented such a kind of all these those. So this is the way today we are here to number one contractor in the CMR. Great, Out of 12 nice. to 13 contractor, CMR are certified. The Tata is the one of the number one. Great, congratulations Thank to you, you on that. So Mr. Janathan, I would like to ask you as a consulting engineer, what are your various aspects or you know, how do you analyze the safety factors at this site? I never see such a, a detailed uh, contract conditions are spelled out in any of the okay. uh, projects in the in India level or even inter international level. First of all, when uh, uh, TU01 uh, Tata projects board on this uh, uh, to this project, uh, when first to start with, they have to submit the uh, plans like safety plan, health plan, environment plan. Okay. Uh, traffic management plan, training implementation plan, uh, those plans are they have to submit uh, in align with the contract condition. Okay. They have to submit to the consultant. We will go through, we review that you know all those contract conditions are transferred into the plans and all. So then we will approve. In the contract condition itself, uh, they are having a criteria how many people they have to engage for the safety implementation like a chief safety manager, one chief safety manager, for each work site, senior safety manager, junior safety manager, mm. safety supervisor, daytime, night time. These are all the uh, spelled out in the contract condition. Great, but Ramesh, definitely there would be many, you know, near miss incidents. And, yeah, it's, uh, and you know, uh, I would like to know, okay, how do we track that at this project? And after the tracking, how am I utilizing this data to enhance the safety performances? We always encouraging the near miss. Okay. First, mm -hmm. the person who has involved the activities, it may be the contractor, it may be the client, it may be the engineer, it may my subcontractor, okay. it may my labor. Okay. Okay. He can also book a complaint, the near miss. Okay. Anyone For on the, the site can do that. Yeah. Any of the site and in even the public also can book the near miss in our near miss. Okay. We are providing such a kind of uh, facilities, you can see. For normally now we are the startup projects, we are using the TQ digitalized system. Okay. This is the one of the system where the people can put all the near miss for the monitoring system. Second one, we have implemented QR code system. Okay. So that QR code is pasted on the all around my project sites. So the public can scan so the QR can code and report it. And if you know not knowing the language, put a photographs. Okay. That also we'll discuss. Okay. And for motivating this activity, we have a rewarding system. So who will punch or report the maximum, maximum number of near miss? The person will reward it in the safety committee meeting in front of the employer or cons consultant. Consultant. Great. We spoke about project construction and development uh, aspect. So Mr. Anand, I would like to ask you, what is their safety for the citizens? I'm a vehicle owner, I'm passing by, I'm a passer by, I'm walking around the road or I'm that potential user who's going to use this line. So what is CMRL's aspects considered for the safety of the citizens? First of all, we have to go for a plan of traffic management, how we have to manage with the traffic. Apart from that, there is a plan how we are going to give the way for pedestrians and how we are to handle the nose points by means of giving the impact barriers. To be in more and more extent to that, we are providing the IRC advanced signages as mm. per the standards. Mm. Recommendations also further have to have a rumble strips, speed limit signages and everything. So Mr. Ramesh, when it comes to you, do you want to add something here? During this tunnel construction, one is our employee, our worker safety. Second one is the public safety. That is the most important. And if you see the elevated, you can see, oh, some work is going on, some construction activity is going on. True. But the same is opposite in the underground. People doesn't know what is happening in under, under my building. Yes. So this is the most biggest challenge. And if something will happen, something went wrong, the entire ground can settle. There's a major uh, 
collapse, there will be a chance of the major collapse of the ground. We will go to the house owners, we will mm. explain what will be happen in the under the ground, in the under the building. Our machine is reaching over, so my team is, so my team will come and your my explain. team will monitoring your mm. building, my team will take care of your building. Before that, the building survey, what is the condition of the build, survey, whether the building has sustained the pressure, or we have to act, evacuate, if, if it is required, we can evacuate the person also. We are providing mm. the hotel also for 10 to 20 days for passing this, our TBM. Okay. Such a kind of importance we are always given to the mm. public. Okay. This is the one of the things. Great, so after listening to all of you, I feel Safety is not just a protocol, it's a commitment and that's how it's delivered. Thank you very much for being with us on this episode and thank you viewers for being with us. Stay safe and stay tuned for our next episode.